The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video. And guys, today what we're going to be doing is taking a look at the new football outsiders that were added into the game today. And I'm also going to be telling you guys right away here why I'm probably not going to do any of these motivators packs, okay? Um, these are the most expensive packs that have, at least in my memory, been in this game this year. And honestly, as far as like being able to open up a bundle, I think it might be the most expensive bundle in terms of coins that we've ever seen in Ultimate Team. So if you actually go in here and you take a look, you can go under bra uh, Browse the Store, and then you can actually see that there's a standard Motivators pack, which is 400,000 coins or 4,000 points. And then you can actually go in and you can potentially, if you would like to anyway, do a Jumbo Motivators pack. Now, this is going to contain three of these Motivators Packs, and it's going to cost 10,000 points. Now, for those of you who don't know, there uh, this new set just came into the game. I shouldn't even call it a set because I don't think you can do anything uh, with them other than just, like, collect the cards and use them, uh, which is fine. I, I mean, I do like actually being able to get good players, but the problem is that opening these packs, you get literally one card in the pack, right? And basically, it could be anywhere in a range from a million coins, which is about what Aaron, jo Aaron Donald is going for. And that's probably the best defensive tackle in the game currently at 93 overall. Really, really nice card. If you pulled that, you are in great shape, right? You're definitely in great shape. The problem is that you basically have to pull that Aaron Donald to make your coins back for the three packs. Now, again, you're still going to have the opportunity to pull other cards as well. You, you, so if you got Aaron Donald, you'd still have two more. The problem is that, like, most of the cards are going for 200000 or, or less. So, like, best case scenario, in my opinion, is that you pull, like, an Aaron Donald, which is extremely rare right now, which is why he's so expensive. And then you pull, like, let's say two other cards that equal 400000 coins, roughly. Um... You might be able to get yourself up to like 500,000. So best case scenario is you get like 1.7 million back, right? The problem, of course, is that you're going to lose 170,000 to tax when you sell those cards on the auction block or if you sell them on the auction block anytime soon. And the other problem, of course, is that all those cards are going to drop in value over the next couple of days here even. So to me, I, I just don't think this is a good thing to do right now. I really, really don't. Um, I've seen a lot of people doing them. And obviously for YouTube, it makes sense if, if you really want to open up a pack that's like a million coins yeah there you go there's your three cards that you get but like if you're an average mutt player if you're somebody who's watching this video you don't do youtube you just play for the fun of it you try and build up a good team i highly recommend holding on to your coins right now and especially if you have psn or xbox points to use on packs wait right now on those in my personal opinion we've seen in the past that the uh the holiday promos that ea typically does around uh like the christmas time typically you're going to get really really nice stuff in those packs now it's been in the past where we've seen kind of some ups and downs but still the most of the time those cards are usually very very good we'll have like the ghost of christmas christmas past um or madden's past the the present and then the future we've had that recently um like the scrooge movie or whatever it's called i think it's called a christmas carol but like those types of cards are typically going to be better than what you're getting in these motivators packs, first of all. And they'll probably actually cost less at the time that they come out. So I'm just recommending that you guys wait on this. If you really want to see me open up one of these packs, I can do it. I mean, I, I don't have a problem going in and doing it. It's just like 10,000 points, guys. I mean, that is a ton of points to add to get three cards, especially when you could pull. You, chances are you're pulling some dog shit. Like, honestly, chances are that you're pulling, like, three cards that are 300, 400K or under. Well, almost guaranteed they're going to be 400K or under because I think there's only, like, five of them that are 500 or 400K or above. Like, we've got, like, um, Harrison Smith, Zach Strafe, uh, DeAndre Hopkins, Stephon Gilmore. I'm looking at a list here of them. Uh, Russell Wilson and then, obviously, Aaron Donald. So, I guess, like, six of them are above 400K. All the rest of them are pretty much crap. Uh, I guess Olivier Vernon's probably hovering around 400k, but other than that, they're like 250k or below. And some of them go all the way down to like 80,000 coins right now in the auction house. So it is a huge, huge risk, guys, to open up these. And uh, I just, 
I just really highly don't recommend it. So that's enough on that rant. I know I've, I've talked about it for a while, but I, I just really, really don't think it's a good value. So um, what I did want to do here is go in and take a look at the uh, Football Outsiders set hero that was come that came out today, and that is Devonta Freeman. Now, Devonta Freeman is a good player. But I honestly, I don't think this card is that great. Um, it is going for, let's see here, 234000 right now is the cheapest one. Um, attributes on it are decent, but they're not anything real great. Like, if you take a look, speed is 91. That's decent enough. We're not, like, disappointed with that. 90 acceleration. It's decent enough. It's not high-end speed, but Devonta Freeman isn't a high-end speed player. He's a quick player. He's not elite speed, though. Um, agility wise he's good ball carrier vision's good obviously elusiveness solid trucking is a little bit disappointing and his juke move is is good um but you know like overall i just don't think this is like the greatest running back in the game right now he's not particularly amazing at anything he's pretty balanced but like i would probably recommend going with like a derrick henry or something like that especially if you're doing a salary cap squad he's just a great card he has such great attributes overall um with all of his trucking and things like that he just really is kind of a beast the most feared one too you can get that one um i forget what it's even called right now but you basically have to hit x every time that there's an engagement and you'll break a tackle almost like it's kind of overpowered to be honest with you so um that's what i would recommend doing as far as that goes the other ones that came out into the game today uh with the football outsiders there was also a tyler lockett now tyler lockett is typically a card that has a ton of speed. We've seen him in a lot of promos in the past. This one's going for 66,000 or so coins, so it's not really anything too expensive. Um, a little bit disappointing on the speed though. Tyreek Hill, I think it was last week, had a 93 speed card. And that card obviously was uh, one of the fastest cards that they're gonna put into this game anytime soon. So I was expecting that the Tyler Lockett would at least be kind of close to that. I know Hill is a little bit faster. He's been clocked supposedly as the fastest player in the league this year. You can believe that stuff if you want to. I don't really know wh whether to believe that or not, but the reality is that Tyler Lockett has been known as one of the fastest receivers in this game for quite a few, uh, basically since he came into the league a couple of years ago. So like to me, 91 speed is just, it's not enough. It, it, it's not enough. I, I was expecting to get 93 speed um, with still good acceleration. I mean, this is 91 speed, 91 excel. Or give us 91 speed, but give him 96 excel. Like, do something like that. Give us something really, really nice out of this card. And then you might see this one priced more around like 150,000 coins. But as it is right now, he's not particularly better than like a Chris Conley. Like, I mean, like he's better, but not that much better, to be honest with you. So uh, to me, I just don't think that card's really uh, that particularly great. Um, so that's kind of my personal opinion on it. I, I'm just not real excited about it. The other ones, um, there were also some, some other nice football outsiders that came into the game today, but I don't really Really think it's anybody to be like super excited about if you pull them cool but like they're not gonna go for a ton of coins i don't think yeah Derek wolf's only going for thirty five thousand. it looks right now uh an 86 overall good player um good run support player he's not great as far as passing uh getting after the quarterback he's only got an 89 power move but he does have 94 for a block shed so he is good against the run um acceleration solid speed is actually decent for a defensive tackle as well um and then obviously the other two cards that came into the game today for the football outsiders we had a Dwayne allen tight end card so this one is um it's not like that bad but it's not particularly great because it doesn't have good speed like 79 speed for a tight end is kind of terrible at this point in the game i know Dwayne allen's not fast so it's hard to really justify giving him a faster speed but like nobody's gonna want this you know this card's basically a collectible at this point to put it in to get devonta freeman and, and that's pretty much it uh and then the last player is a uh, gold offensive lineman for the Ravens, who had a really great game this past week. Um, Joe Flacco had his best game of the season. And yeah, it doesn't look like... Uh, oh, duh, I was typing in Ravens, derp. Um, but yeah, Joe Flacco didn't have a particularly uh, great stat line going into that game. But after that game, he's looking pretty good. He's definitely uh, improved over the past week or two. So that's good to see out of him. Uh, but again, this one... I mean, it's solid. It's a balanced left tackle, 85 run blocking and 87 pass blocking. It's only an 84 overall, so it's going for 6,000 coins. So again, basically a collectible at this point for the Devonta Freemans. So there you have it, guys. That is going to, again, do it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something, and hopefully you're not going to go out here and spend a crap load of points and coins on these motivators packs. 
don't let EA force you into spending money to have a competitive team in this game. Like, we have to not do this. Please come together and don't spend a crap load of money on this, guys, if you're in the community. Thanks again. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll talk to you guys again soon.